Hi, Simon here from Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions and today we have a Thronius Galvo Inverter and if you have a look on the screen here it's coming up with State 567. Now this State 567 uh, error, oh, error message or, or information message is uh, applicable to Thronius Galvos, Thronius Primo and Thronius Simo Inverters. Pretty much all the latest inverters. If you have a look at the screen there, no. Nope. If we tap there, it should come up. There we go. So the state 567. When you get this error message, you see it's coming up with a green light there, and uh, which means it's actually operational still. So it's not it's not like your inverter's not working at all. And what it wants us to do is acknowledge the message, we're pressing enter, and then it tells us how much power it's producing right now. Now with the state 567 message, what it's actually telling us is that the voltage from the street, from the electricity grid, is actually too high. And so what it's actually doing, what the inverter is doing, is it sees that it's too high, and so it's actually ramping down the performance of the inverter, ramping down the actual output of the inverter to try and keep the voltage of the grid down. Because with solar power inverters, the more power they're feeding back to the grid, they actually need to raise the voltage of the grid slightly to do that. So the harder they need to push power back, the more power they have to push power back, the uh, higher the voltage is raised. And so by not um, feed, trying to feed as much power back, it actually keeps the voltage down a little bit. So you can see this one's right now producing about 700 watts of power. But this, at this time of day, this system should be producing over 1,000 watts. So it's definitely derating the power output right now. If we scroll through... The menu system here we actually see the ac voltage so the grid voltage is 252 253 volts with these inverters it does have a co the comma there which uh, for us would normally it'd be a decimal place in australia that's a european way of doing things so it's actually reading 254.5 volts there now which is very high for the electricity grid to be at that so now it's gone up to 255 256 wow it's really ramping up at the moment so realistically, that's that's a very high voltage from the grid, and it shouldn't be that high. And so the inverter is seeing that, and it's actually derating the the uh, production of the inverter. Now, with these furnace inverters, for the latest Australian standards, they are actually set to do this if the voltage goes above 250 volts from the grid. So if it detects over 250 volts, it's going to start doing this, having this state five, six, seven, and derating the power output. Now, in different areas of Australia, you're allowed to have a different different maximum of voltages uh, that the inverter can see, and it all really depends on the area you are. We're in, on the Gold Coast, and we've got a upper limit of 255 volts. But like I said, this is set out of the out of the box by Frony is at 250 volts. So we can actually, as a, a credited installer, we can actually go in and adjust the settings to the uh, the standards of our local grid operator, which in our case is Energex. And so we can actually get it up to 255 volts. But if you have a look at that here, still we've got to have a, a little bit of this derating going on anyway, because you see it sometimes is going above 255. But what it would mean, there's a big difference between 250 and 255 volts. So if we can set that upper limit to 255 rather than 250, it's going to be mean the inverter is working at full capacity without derating the power output for a lot more of the time, which obviously is, uh, is very beneficial for you as a solar power system owner. So look, if you're in the Gold Coast or South East Queensland, the, the, voltage, the maximum voltage can be set to 255 volts. You will need an accredited solar installer to actually set that for for you. It needs they need to go through a uh, a menu system on the inverter, which is just for installers, uh, because there's there's lots of different parameters which can be changed in there, which is very important that they're set to uh, the standards of the local uh, network service provider, which in our case is Energex. So look, if you're on the Gold Coast or South East Queensland, you need help with this, uh, don't hesitate to give Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions a call. We'd be happy to help. Thanks very much for watching this video. I hope it's been helpful for you.